is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. Welcome to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Stacy Cole Morgan. Here on the Morgan Man Sports Podcast, we talk Atlanta Falcons news, pre-game predictions, and all other news surrounding the Atlanta Falcons. Touchdown, Atlanta! Also on the podcast, we talk Call of Duty League esports covering roster mania, major predictions, COD champs, player trades, and much more to get you ready for every single CDL weekend. Scuff goes through, and Scuff stands, wins the 101, and Optic with the reverse sweep. If that sounds good with you, put on your Falcons jersey, grab your gaming headset, and let's get the show started. going on you guys i'm your host stacy cole morgan and you are listening to the morgan man sports podcast here on spotify google podcast good hq or wherever you find your preferred podcast ladies and gentlemen today we are talking about the call of duty league 2025 season structure right here on today's episode ladies and gentlemen and also guys we are talking about the red hot atlanta falcons taking on the New Orleans Saints in round two in New Orleans this Sunday. So that any further delay, let's go to get straight into today's action. All right, guys. So we are kicking things off with the Call of Duty League 2025 season structure. Now this is coming from multiple sources right here, but I will break down from breakapoint.gg. Shout out to them. So this is from their article as of November 4th, 2024 at 1 27 PM. So the day of this recording, actually, and I quote, all you need to know about the 2025 Call of Duty League season. In this article, we will explain the new CDL minors tournament, as well as all the new information we have on the events and even team packs in store. The minor tournament system. Let's start with the Miners. Miners will be a new addition to the CDL season. The goal of these is to bring the different CDL content to the builds, engagement, and enhance this competition for both players and fans. To start with, these are only set for Majors 1 and 2, but if all is well, the plan is to carry them during the entire season. All 12 teams will be involved in the Miners in a single elimination bracket. Seeding Minor 1 will be seeded by standings after the December qualifier matches, which will be the same qualifier matches in the past seasons. Minor 2 will be seeded using the Major 1 standings. The format for a set weekend would be Round 1 Friday, Round 2 Saturday, Semi-Final Sunday, and Grand Final Sunday. What's on the line for the Miners? Well, a lot actually. Firstly, CDL points for the race to the playoffs, and then a cash prize for the winner. Below is the breakdown of the prize pool. First is 30 points, second is 20 points, third is 10 points, and fourth is fifth point, or five points, excuse me. And the the winner will also receive $20,000. For match breakdown, this year CDL will have 246 matches, 160 online, 72 major, and 14 postseason. The major locations. This year, the CDL will have four major locations and champs. For Kelowna, if I'm pronouncing that right, Toronto will host that. So, also, this is in Canada. Allen, Texas. This will be Optic, Texas, obviously. Florida, Miami hosts again. Chicago, this will be an unconfirmed host. But whoever will be nearby, obviously, probably like Minnesota or something like that. And then, of course, champs will be Toronto Ultra hosting, like Optic Texas did last season, and won COD champs. So, the CDL League Pack will be in Black Ops 6, pretty much starting around maybe the 14th of November. Team bundles are currently planned for January 7th. So, definitely you get your CDL skin on November 14th. I'm guessing that will be the day of the announcement of the regular season for the Call of Duty League. And then, of course, January 7th, when the season does start, or about midway through, then you'll get team packs. 
for like Atlanta Fays, LA Thieves, you know, whoever. So that is the current information we got right now, ladies and gentlemen. But like I said, next Tuesday is rumored November the 12th, but I'm, but everybody's saying November 14th. So right now it is up in the air of what's going to happen with the breakdown of the season and what information is coming our way. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more detail on the minor kind of situation right there because it sounds interesting, but at the same time, you're adding so much more that really just don't need to be there as well. Just, you know, bring in a lot more teams with this current style format, maybe a lot less online matches and more online. I mean, uh, land tournaments and boom, you got it made. So now we are switching gears on over ladies and gentlemen to the Atlanta Falcons visiting the new Orleans saints this Sunday at the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. So guys, looking at this situation right here, Dennis Allen, the former head coach of the New Orleans Saints, did get fired the day of this recording, which is November 4th. So now we got a new head, well, interim head coach to look forward to in this kind of regime that he's wanting to build for the rest of the season. Because New Orleans is just practically out of, Playoff contention, in my opinion, especially being what two and eight, two and seven, yeah, two and seven, and yeah. So I mean, it's it's gonna be just near about impossible for them to honestly bounce back, especially if they even lose this Sunday against the Falcons. So let's break down those stats. Actually, for the spread right here, Atlanta is favored at a minus three. Did open up as a minus one but did go to a minus three in favor of Atlanta. Money line is minus 179 for Atlanta and plus 150 for New Orleans. The total over and under right here, ladies and gentlemen, is sitting at 46 and a half. Did open up as a 44 and a half, but has quickly jumped to a 46 and a half on this November 4th of my recording. And if you want to go into stats right here for each team, on defense and offense. So this Falcons offense taking on the Saints defense. The Falcons is at eighth best overall offense compared to the Saints 28th best overall defense in the National Football League. Falcons are sixth while passing the ball and 18th while running the ball. Saints are 27th against the pass and 25th against the run. Falcons defense versus the Saints offense. So this defense is starting to live up a little bit now in terms of, you know, sacking the quarterback, getting some pressures, and just absolutely obliterating that secondary. So overall, again, the Falcons defense is 20th overall, while the Saints offense is 16th overall in the National Football League. Falcons are 15th against the pass and 23rd against the run. Saints offense is 20th while passing the ball and 13th while running the ball. So this Falcons defense has still got a pretty pretty tough test against them these next couple weeks. Going up against, you know, mid-tier to top-tier offenses. And definitely New Orleans is still no joke, regardless of them firing their head coach, Dennis Allen. But I'm expecting a lot out of this Falcons offense this Sunday because the Saints overall 28th, but 27th against the pass and 25th while running the ball or against running the ball. Guys, Bijan and our receivers should still have a field day like they did against the Cowboys this past Sunday. So that's just my honest opinion right there, ladies and gentlemen. But... I do say that the Falcons will win this one. I'm not going to sit here and say like it's going to be a huge blowout because it's in New Orleans. That crowd is always crazy. But I will say that this Falcons team will win, let's just say, 38-21. You know, I'm, I'm, I know I'm sitting here saying that it's not going to be a blowout, but still... The Falcons need to win by at least a big margin 
and I believe 38-21 would be a perfect score for this Falcons team to really showcase herself and say, look, Lions and Washington, Washington Commanders, y'all are next. The Lions, y'all, we'll get y'all in the playoffs, but the Commanders, y'all are next after, you know, we get done with our bye week and face like the Giants or, you know, whoever. So I really like this situation right here for the Atlanta Falcons, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what do you think? Do you think the Atlanta Falcons will continue this hot streak and go 7-3 this weekend? Or do you think the Saints will have some kind of magical life and beat the Atlanta Falcons? Which I, I still don't think so, but hey, it is the National Football League. Just like college football is college football, anything can happen when it comes to the great game of American football. But guys, I sure hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like button wherever you are listening from iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcast, or wherever you find your preferred podcast. But until then, I come Morgan. We'll catch you all later. Thank you for listening to this Belly Up Sports Podcast Network product. Some said we go belly up, so we made it our name, and we're still here. <laughs>